It's very simple, really, to practice the perfect tense, as there's such a great need for it when you speak German. Just observe how much you use one of the past tenses when you chat with your friends in English. And remember, when you chat in German about the past, you always use the perfect tense, except for sein, haben, and the modals. So our main focus will be to get these past participles into your head according to the least effort, greatest result principle. Economic rationalism is definitely justified here. Again, our mantra is the same. Use, 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 but use in context. It's not a very effective learning method to just go through a list of all the irregular past participles. You also have to form sentences with them, and preferably in a real-life context. And we'll try to give you some help with that in the next section. But don't forget, you can develop your own little learning strategies and games. It's well worth the creative effort. We'll start with an update of your vocabulary cards, which we hope you've continued to write and work with. Take out all the verb cards from your stack and add the past participles and an example sentence in the perfect tense on the German side of the card. However, only do a few at a time, about five to ten a day, for the next couple of weeks. That should pretty much cover all the verbs you've learnt so far. We don't want it to become too much of a chore or an overwhelming task. It's a bit like taking vitamin C tablets. Even if you take twenty to get incredibly healthy in a single hit, your body will only accept one at a time and excrete the rest. And I'm afraid your long-term memory works a bit like that too. So go steady and make gain after gain without the pain. Shovel it in. Do you remember Mark Twain's saying about Germans shoveling in words between two verbs, staking out the beginning and the end of a sentence? Well, we'll provide you with both stakes, the auxiliary and the past participle of a verb, and you will shovel in the words in between them, forming a sentence in the perfect tense. To keep it simple, we'll only use the first person singular, so you always start the sentence with "Ich habe" or "Ich bin." Continue with the filling in the middle, and then complete the verbal frame with the past participle provided by us. So, if we give you, ich habe gekauft, you form the sentence. Ich habe ein Kilo Trauben gekauft. Feel free to add a shovel load or two. Ich habe gestern ein Kilo Trauben gekauft. Ich habe gestern ein Kilo Trauben auf dem Markt gekauft. Remember the time, manner, place order. Now fill in the following sentences. Ich habe gekocht. Ich habe gespielt. Ich bin gefahren. Ich habe gefragt. Ich habe gewusst. Ich habe getrunken. Ich habe gehört. Ich bin geblieben. Ich habe mitgebracht. Ich habe studiert. Ich bin geflogen. Ich habe gewaschen. Ich habe gelernt. Ich habe Geschenkt. Ich habe vergessen. Ich habe verloren. Ich habe getanzt. Ich habe gekauft. Ich bin gegangen. Ich habe geschrieben. Ich habe genommen. Ich habe gekauft. Ich habe gefunden. Ich habe gewohnt. Ich habe gemacht. Ich habe gearbeitet. Add your own past participles and continue on as long as you like. Be aware of verbs indicating a change of place or state, which use the auxiliary. Ich bin. So start shoveling. We promise your arms won't ache. Your brain might, though. The perfect chat. 
As you can imagine from the title, you have to do this with your study buddy or chat chum, be it live or virtual in cyberspace. Every time you meet from now on, make a conscious effort to tell each other what has happened in your lives since the last time you spoke. That's pretty much what people do normally anyway, and you've just been deprived of doing that so far when speaking German. So make up for lost time and gossip away about your wonderful past adventures and shenanigans. If you want to take it a step further, you can prepare for your chat beforehand and look up the past participles you might want to use. That way, you're more likely to use and thus memorize past participles correctly. Diary. Some of you already write diaries in English, and you probably write predominantly in the past tense, as it's all about what happened to you recently. Although we said before that written German uses the simple past, a diary entry is a bit of an exception, as it's both very informal and also refers to the immediate past. It's a bit like writing down a personal reflective monologue, really. So all of you start a very simple diary in German now. Sit down for ten minutes every evening for the next few weeks and write a few sentences about what you've done that day. And again, use the steady eddy principle. Allocate a certain time in your day and only use up a few minutes of your precious time, but do it regularly and form a habit. That way, it'll become a fun task. Maybe use the same time slot in which you updated your cards. Start the diary when you've completed the update. That way, the past participles of the verbs you know should still be fresh in your mind. And if not, it's easier to look them up.